because at Live Your Best Marriage Podcast, we believe that every marriage has a chance to be awesome and every marriage has a chance to be fulfilling. So we come here every week, actually three times a week with some tips to just give your marriage some extra boost so that you can be able to live your best marriage. Yes, absolutely. So we've been together for 13 years and we have four children. So we just hope to be a source of encouragement and, and also we just yeah we just want to inspire everybody and let you all know that just because someone's marriage might look really great from the outside that does not mean that they don't have issues so and just because you have issues does not mean that your marriage yeah, doesn't is mean that you great. can't have a great marriage because yes so, i mean issues are part of life we are humans and what we are trying to do here is just find ways to navigate through the issues so that we can actually have a marriage where we can look back and say, you know what, it was a great ride. I really enjoyed I enjoyed the ups and downs and looking back, I'm glad I stayed with that person. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. So, and if you guys want updates, we have a Facebook page. You can like us Which there. Which is Live Your Best Marriage. No, actually, it's Facebook forward slash Live Your Best Marriage. Yes. So, um, and if you just want direct access to all of our blog posts, you can go to LiveYourBestMarriage.com. LiveYourBestMarriage.com. And I love to be on Twitter. So, if you want a bunch of uh, motivational and marriage quotes, that's just going to get you all excited and just to be on your t- Twitter feed. You can follow me on at Pesa Shayo and my wife is at Whitney Shayo. You, you will get a bunch of like really inspirational tweets. I actually like reading my own tweets because they just give me a bunch of inspiration during the day. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. For sure. So um, today we wanted to talk about signs that your marriage might need counseling. Uh, signs yeah. that your marriage might need counseling. You know that, like for like going to that counselor's office, <laughs> it's no fun. I've been there before, and uh, yeah, it's never fun. It's never fun because it feels like you're but, going to to the principal's office, right? But some, well, <laughs> some people actually go to marriage counseling to um, as a preventative measure, and we've done that before too. To tune it, but, tune things up. The kind of marriage counseling that we're talking about today is when the, you feel the like, okay, marriage counseling. You're you like, know. okay, I definitely think we need a trip to the counselor. Yes. So, because um, if you honestly like, if you feel like your marriage is struggling, then it probably is struggling. Yeah. Go oh, yeah. with go with what you're feeling. Go with your gut feeling. And if you feel like it's. Because we've had times where, like, one person thinks, yeah, there's definitely a problem, and the other person is like, um, what are you talking about? There's nothing wrong. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, the, everything <laughs> looks fine. I mean, what's, what's, what's the problem? So, but, again, if you feel like there's a problem, then most likely there's a problem. So, so hu- husbands, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it could be either, either way, husband or wife. Yeah. So... Um, the first one is if there are secrets. If you guys mm. keep secrets from one another, then I think that's a huge, huge sign that you should probably visit a marriage counselor. And uh, how do you know? Because uh, you're keeping a well, secret. Well, if it's, yeah. So if it's you that's keeping the secret or whichever, but hopefully whoever's doing that will get to the point where they're like, okay, I don't think this is healthy so what kind of secrets are you talking about it can be anywhere from financial if there's a such thing as financial infidelity spending tons of money without like really saying anything um hiding it Mm -hmm. there's the obvious infidelity that that we all know about and then just it could be anything just or if keeping secrets on um Things that you would like to have in your marriage, but you're just, you don't really feel like you can say it. Like, you're just, you're just like, okay, um, I wish we could do blah, 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 or... I wish we could go to the park. Or I wish he, (laughs) I wish he was not doing blah, 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 but you just don't say anything. You're like, you know what? 
Um, but so why do you know? Wh think... Why would you want to go the, uh, to the counselor? With yeah. Them? So because the counselor can help you guys communicate through these issues. Because usually, I mean, keeping secrets obviously shows that there's like a huge, huge block in communication. Okay. And you guys are struggling to talk through some things, but counselors can be really, really great. And it might not happen in the first visit. It mm -hmm. might not even happen in the second visit, but after like a few times, the counselor is like really, really good at being able to get you guys to open up. Because yeah. I've we've mm -hmm. we've experienced that. But, what, but something I want to just do as, as a disclaimer is yeah. not all counselors are created equal. Okay. And just the fact that somebody is hanging a shingle in front of their door saying they're a counselor does not mean they have your best interest in mind. And that does not mean that they, they believe that, like, like, the, like, like your beliefs align. So mm -hmm. before you go to a counselor, you have to actually have done the work to, to say, okay, what are my core beliefs? If my beliefs are every marriage has a chance to be awesome and to be feel fulfilling, and just because we are going through a hard time does not mean we can't through the power of prayer and creativity and all that, to be able to find ways to make this work. Mm -hmm. If that's where you're coming from, that's your core belief, that does not mean your counselor has the same core beliefs. Your counselor might even be going through a divorce at that moment. Your counselor might have had several, uh, maybe your counselor does not believe that every marriage can be saved. Or your marriage can be saved or whatever. Mm -hmm. So before you um, just go there and start telling them your business, you literally need to know, hey, hey, I, hey I'm a guy and <laughs> I am not going to go and start just telling people my business unless I know we are aligned in terms of like our um, core beliefs and this is why it's so e good to before you just go to a counselor maybe go to your pastor at church and then maybe he can recommend you or she can recommend you to somebody else because at least you know you guys have the same core beliefs about marriage mm -hmm. yeah? but just walking into some guy from the phone book and you're like yeah they might not really have your same um core beliefs and that is the issue they might be actually moving you away from your spouse and you don't even know and that time you're so de uh, vulnerable and desperate just going to tell them your business and by the end of the day you are actually farther away from your spouse psychologically and also emotionally than when you walked into that room because they're just feeding you crap right hey <laughs> well if they're advertising in the phone book i don't think i would want to see them anyway i mean they need but... they need clients <laughs> they need clients i'm not i'm not against advertising in the yes. phone book i'm just so... i'm just saying you just need to know before you walk into somebody's office you already need to know you what are your core beliefs yes regarding marriage and regarding staying together in marriage if you're so that when they are giving you a different worldview Dude, you can start like uh, noticing like ah, this this does not align with okay. my core beliefs. So yeah. that's a good idea then. So maybe you could have a free consultation with a yeah. therapist and and yeah, just yeah. ask questions and say, okay, my goal is to work through these issues and stay with my spouse. Yes. Do you like what do you think? Yes. And then just you can use that hour to get to know them yes. and just kind of see. Um, what their philosophy is regarding yeah. marriage yeah, yeah you can yeah, you can yeah. do that yeah just just because they are counselors does not mean they are authorities <laughs> yes yes that's true that's on true. your marriage that's well that's why we do this podcast anyway mm -hmm. because i think it's nice to see other couples in, in the trenches you know yes with me i like to i like to read marriage blogs and stuff like that because i feel like sometimes uh, going to a counselor, they're like, they're all like, uh, they don't have issues, they, or they act like they don't have issues. 
and they're there to like fix me yeah. but um that's what anyway and so that's why i like yeah. listening to things like this because i'm like oh wow they have issues too okay cool yeah. and and for husbands out there <laughs> so i'm not the only one for husbands out there and who, especially who feel like you are being dragged into a counseling session dragged dragged that's hey i know nice. for the longest time i also there, there's sometimes i felt like yeah, i'm being dragged into a counseling session i was but, there i know <laughs> <laughs> but what i'm trying to say that is that Yes, it might feel like you're being dragged in a counseling session, but if you have um, if you have issues that you're like, I'll say, oh, some issues regarding what type of counseling you will be getting, dude, you need to raise them up before you start just sitting there like being puked on by a counselor. Okay, so <laughs> we just went through like a hundred points about counseling a hundred tips of i love counseling how to and go it, to counseling and how not to go to counseling if you're a counselor you know i love you but just we, I have, we have friends who are counselors, counselors yeah <laughs> but i just don't want to tell you guys just to walk blindly into a counseling session and then somebody has a different world view from what you have and then you are like why is this not working it's not working because you guys have totally different world views they're trying to get you away from what you believe should be uh, like a great marriage so know that before you walk in yeah know yeah. that before you walk in okay yes awesome so now that we just finished <laughs> our 100 tips <laughs> How to go to a counselor or how not to go to a counselor. I don't know. Um, we can move on to tip number two so, yes. of signs that you need counseling. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, the second one is if you feel as though you guys are living separate lives. Um, I've heard the term, like, roommates. Yes. So when a couple feels like, okay... Yeah, we live in the same house, but it just doesn't feel like we're a couple anymore. Yeah. We don't do couple things. We don't talk. We don't we don't go places. We don't maybe um you don't sleep in the same room or just things like that. Yes. Things like that. Um even something as simple as no. going to sleep at the same time. I never thought of what a huge difference that can make. Mm -hmm. Um because there are a lot of times when uh, there were many years when Peso was working as a nurse and he would work throughout the night. Yes. And so I would just, I was sleeping like the whole night by myself, whatever. I just thought that was life. But then when he started um, staying at home full time and we started like going to, we started like this family routine of going to bed at nine o'clock, all of us. Everybody goes to bed at nine. I was just like, oh, wow, this is so cool. I didn't even know this was possible that um, me and my hubby could just just go to sleep at the same time, cuddle, all of the, like, anyway. So I don't know where I'm going with that one, but if you just feel like <laughs> you're doing all these different things at different times and um, living like roommates, you share a home, but it just doesn't really feel like home anymore um then that could definitely be a reason to um talk about going to so you're like you're like basically you feel like you're not being you're not connected it's just yeah. some person another right. human being right that you live with a roommate but you, there's right. no that emotional connection that this right. is my spouse like maybe your schedules have just gotten in the way so much that you feel like okay we don't really have time to to hang out anymore yeah or, just just stuff like that um also so go and that's a third. that's a good place to like go to counseling yeah yeah absolutely yeah. somebody with the same <laughs> wild view as you so the third thing is if you talk about leaving like you're that's, dropping the d word yeah constantly. yeah that's you know that definitely. crazy D word like divorce yeah. as if if it's being dropped every conversation. Yeah. I'm filing. Yeah. Or if you even feeling that temptation of okay, well maybe we should separate. Yeah. 
Just go and file. I would, I would just go and file. Know. I've had that before. No, you haven't. <laughs> Who says that? Just so. go and file. I don't care. Just go and file. <laughs> so, so yeah. I don't know. I've had that. About. Somebody has. Uh, yeah, I've had that before. <laughs> Talking about see we can we can laugh about it now, but <laughs> but on that back, day <laughs> back then it wasn't funny. When I was going through postpartum depression, I for like a whole year almost. I'm going. I, I'm going to file. My big thing was I want to leave. <laughs> I want to leave. I'm done. I'm out of here. I'm filing. I'm not putting up with this. I'm going to file. So, wow. So again we can laugh today. We're laughing, but at that time. Peso was like, no, don't go. Oh, come on. I was like, you know what? Okay. <laughs> no. No, he he fought for this marriage. We yeah. so we both did. We yeah. both fought. Yeah. Um again, it's funny now, but it wasn't wasn't funny then. <laughs> so, so and and I know some of you are actually going through that right now. I'm just telling you, every marriage has a chance. And it might not feel like it because at that moment it's crazy, 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 mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah. But, dude, mm -hmm. there's hope. And it's it's worth it. And and uh, you might be so close to a breakthrough, you don't even know it. And sometimes just listening to this and applying even one tip, like just just even knowing. Mm -hmm what is your world view when it comes to marriage that sounds like a simple thing but you really have to go really deep to know what marriage means to you and once you define that it actually makes now you make a lot of decisions mm -hmm. from that yes 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 you make a lot of decisions from that and that actually can really um eliminate a lot of uh choices because you're like i'm not that guy i'm not gonna do that that's not my my world view yes yeah yes so uh the fourth one is if you feel like your spouse is against you yeah so this is an issue that that we've had from time to time and it's usually caused by i would say it's caused by doubt but um also, assuming that your spouse is just not on your side, like if every time they say something, you question their intention, you're like, yeah, you're like, really? What are they really? Are they whose side are they on? Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to remember, there was a really, really, really nice article that that Pesa had shown me uh, just a couple months ago, mm -hmm. because um, I was questioning, I felt like he was out to get me. There were times when I was just like, oh my gosh, he is totally not supportive. And um, he showed me this article. We'll put a, a link to it. A link. Um, in the, what do you call it? Comments or whatever. No, like on the description. In the description. We'll just make sure below, we have yes. a link for it. Because I don't even remember the name, but we'll make sure you have access to it. Um, where a wife was constantly thinking that her husband was out to get her. Every little comment he made, she questioned like if he if he said something about her clothes, she would just automatically assume that he was implying that she's fat or she's not beautiful. Oh, she yeah. doesn't look good. Um, or if he says, let's go out for dinner tonight. She took it as an insult to her cooking and, and just so those things happen um for this particular couple it was it happened for like 20 years it was just ongoing oh yes but for like, us though um it just it kind of comes and goes like once in a while he'll say something and i'll i'll really question it like okay uh what does he mean by that um is he yeah is he saying i'm i'm fat <laughs> or no or what? No. No. <laughs> just just all those those little things um and particularly for us, this is a really, this can be a really huge problem because we run our business together. So if he'll, he'll say like, okay, well, let's do this thing this other way. Then I'll, I'll just assume, okay, well, he's questioning my ability to handle that. And or that's not true. Or he, he doesn't want me to have authority on that particular decision, that, that issue. So, um, 
Anyway, so just thinking that your spouse is against you or they're not on your side or they're out to get you, I would definitely say that's a good reason to go and just explain express all of that, that to, to a, a counselor. A counselor, yes. Um, so that you guys can work through that issue. And then um, the last one was if you're not able to talk through any problems, either you just keep quiet or every discussion you have just blows up into a huge a huge argument, argument. Yeah. and then you're still even then after all of that you're still not able to resolve anything the issue yes you're not able to reach a solution and um just get past the point of okay i totally 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 disagree with what he's doing right now or i completely disagree with his decision on this issue or we just can't seem to compromise on and, this issue and again whatever it is if it's raising your kids if it's finances if it's jobs careers moving whatever um you just you're not able to talk through the issue the issue you're just it either um you hit a wall and you're like it doesn't go anywhere yeah so i would i would highly recommend um Again, sitting down in front of a neutral third party. A neutral third party, a so counselor that, yeah. or a pastor or a priest or yes. an assistant in the church, an elder in the church or wherever, just somebody who you can, um, somebody who's experienced and who has had a longer marriage than you and who can just say, you know what? Yeah. Can just, sometimes you just need that encouragement. You just need that encouragement to, to see that this is not the end, that there's also another day. Because sometimes when you are like in the middle of it, mm -hmm. I you don't see how you can get out of it. Like we were making fun of uh, some statements which we had said like, um, oh, go ahead and file, whatever. <laughs> when those statements were being made in this house, yeah, it was crazy. And at that time, <laughs> We were just walking by faith, like it's, every marriage has a chance, this is doable, we can make it go, we can make it work. Yeah. But what we were experiences with, experiencing with our five senses, our, what we could see in real life was not there's any hope, there was no hope. We just have to go by faith. So somebody else who has gone through it can actually help you in that moment to be able to just hey give you that extra push like you can make it yeah because once the everything clears the storm clears the brain clears everything clears you look back and you're like wow we made it it didn't feel like it and after a while you even laugh about it yeah 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 i'm gonna file so once you can <laughs> i'm going to file once you're able to i don't know what he's talking about um <laughs> Once you're able to move past the stage of hopelessness. Yes. That's and then, the word, and yeah. even once you move past that stage, there's still a lot of work to do. Yes. But at least you feel like you can handle it. Yes. So. You, so yeah, anyway. definitely you can handle it. And yep. um, that's where somebody who has been a, around the block can help you with some tips. Sometimes just, just pray. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, prayer is extremely, extremely important and yeah. also very, very helpful. Just And then just knowing that uh, God is on your side, uh, that also helped us. I mean, just, just knowing that He's on our side, what, it, what that does is you know you are not in charge of everything. That helps you just know, like, I'm not in charge of everything. I don't know everything. He's on my side and I can just pray. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yes. So, so again, folks, we are super excited to have you listening and thank you so much for being here. We do this podcast Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Yes. And um, if you want to subscribe for more updates from yes. us, you can go ahead and do that at liveyourbestmarriage.com. And then we also have some cool stuff. We'll be doing giveaways very soon, which I'm really excited about. Me too. Um, and, I'm <laughs> and you know, um, 
<laughs> By the way, can you just do a quick recap of all the six top? Yes. Well, okay, this one was five. Five. We have five signs. That, that just tells you how much I... That you might need to see a counselor. And the first one was... A counselor guys... who has the same worldview as you. Yeah, okay. which we will let him do a whole nother episode about <laughs> that. Um, the first one was if you're keeping secrets. The second one was if you feel like you live separate lives. Third, you talk about leaving. And then four, feel like your spouse is against you. And then five, you just can't talk through anything. Can't yes. talk through any problems. So, um, and again, we will have a couple of other resources for you guys uh, in the listed in the description. In the description below. There's, I think Pesa wanted to put the Love and Respect yes. book. Yes, oh, that, that book by Dr. Eckridge. Yes. And then, we awesome. will, and then there was also an article that we definitely wanted you guys to have access to as well because yeah. it was it was something that really helped us. Yes. So we will see you guys next time. Bye and God bless. Take care. Are you tired of being upset, lonely, feeling empty, or just plain frustrated with your marriage? And no matter how hard you try, you're not getting anywhere, just going in circles. No matter how much you try to make time for one another in your schedule, or how many times you say, I'm sorry, Pesa and I have put together 99 ideas to help you connect with that one special person so that things can start to be more like the way they were before everyday life got in the way and caused the two of you to drift apart. We want you to have 99 ways to show love to your spouse absolutely free. You can find it at 99waystoshowlovetoyourspouse.com Because here at Live Your Best Marriage, we truly hope that the two of you can move closer together and enjoy the connection that comes from achieving a stronger bond. Again, that's 99waystoshowlovetoyourspouse.com That's the number 99waystoshowlovetoyourspouse.com